What's up guys? In today's episode we want to present you the Pocket Shot magazine. Pocket Shot Germany sent this to us and at first I'm going to show you how to load the magazine. It's very simple. Just press the ammo inside of the magazine and it can fit or it can hold about 20 rounds. So let's start with the shooting test. We want to see how powerful the steel rounds and the normal pocket shot really is and let's do this. That's the damage. Okay, as you can see, uh, the steel rounds are pretty powerful. Okay, now we mounted the pocket shot on the pocket shot handle because it's much easier to aim with it and I personally prefer to use it with the grip. It is also possible to screw the magazine on it and let's try it again. They also sent us some hard and heavy clay balls and let's test them. So I don't know if there is much difference between the clay rounds and the steel rounds. Uh, the fact is that the clay rounds are much lighter than the steel rounds and they might explode if you hit a hard surface. And that's exactly what we're trying next. Yes. You can see the dust. Oh, that's interesting. So now let's see if it is possible to penetrate more than one steel pen. It went through one, two, and got stuck on the third. That's pretty powerful and very impressive. Okay, now it's time for the final test. Let's try to kill the gray alien with the pocket shot. I don't know if this is possible, but let's try this. So let's check the damage. These rounds or these hits are from our last episode and the steel BB hits somewhere around this area and did not enter the skin. So no damage at all. Let's try the clay round. Oh, ricochet. <laughs> Play round exploded, but also no damage to the skin or to the surface. So also there are several different ammunition types that you can use with the pocket shot. Uh, one of these are the small paintball rounds, which you can use with the uh, T4E M4. Let's try this. And of course, we have to use a normal paintball. Ready? Yeah. Of course, it exploded on me. Okay, and we found some powder balls in the garden from our last episode. Let's throw four of them into the pouch and test it out. Okay, now we changed to the pocket shot arrow pouch. Uh, basically, 
this turns your pocket shot into an aero launcher which is the coolest feature i guess so let's try it out ready no way to penetrate the alien's brain not deadly at all okay we forgot to capture it on the main camera and the arrow went into the skin and into the flesh you can hear the skull and next the bodkin or hunting tip what the fuck no penetration at all so now we extended the pocket shot arrow and you can pull it with much more energy i think the tip went in but no penetration for the last shot we're using this nasty tip i don't know how it is called Okay, uh, it went in, but the fangs did not open into the flesh. It's a nasty wound. Alien got hurt, but no inner penetration of the skull or the jaw. And for today's extra content, we try the pocket shot arrow again. Or Zombie Susie. <laughs> That's a beauty kill shot. Nice. Never try to use it against zombies. Okay guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun with the pocket shot. Please go and check out Pocket Shot Germany. The link is right in the description. And give us a thumbs up, subscribe to us, and we see you guys in the next episode of Alien Go Boom. Bye. Okay, it went almost through three bottles. <laughs>